welcome to KGH Academy. This is Venkat Econo Faculty. Today we will discuss about the income tax in India. Income tax is the tax which is levied by the central government on the income of the persons. Income tax was introduced first time in 1860 on temporary basis with the recommendations of the James Wilson Committee to manage the financial crisis of 1857 CPI mutinity. Income tax was introduced in 1860, about 65 and reintroduced in 18 66 on a permanent basis. Before independence, during the British government, our income tax was levied in India. Say, any person who gets income more than 100 rupees, he has to pay the income tax to the government. Any person who gets income between the 100 to pay the 500 rupees, he has to pay the 2 percentage. A person who gets income more than the 500 rupees, he has to pay the 4 percentage. Means, you know, there are two kinds of these slabs only in income tax. So, let us discuss about the income tax slabs in India according to 2023-24 budget estimation. Income tax is levied on the following aspects according to 2023-24 budget estimation. There are six aspects. Either. First to take the salaries. Any employee who gets income more than the 3 lakhs annually has to pay the income tax to the central government. It may be employee, it may be government sector, private sector, organized sector or any unorganized sector. And the second one, house rents. Income from the house rents. Any house owner gets the income more than the 3 lakhs annually has to pay the income tax to the government. So house rents also is a part of the income tax. And the third one is business. Any kind of the businessman, when he gets income more than the 3 lakhs, he has to pay the income tax to the government. Maybe any kind of the merchant, suppose gold shop owner or the uh, supermarket owner, any shop owner, you know, when he gets income more than the 3 lakhs, then only has to pay the tax to the central government. Then come to the capital gains. What are the capital gains? When a person makes the investment in the stock market and when a person gets the income in the stock market, he has to pay the, the capital gain tax to the central government. The capital gain tax is a part of the income tax only. So investor, when investor gets the profit in the stock market, he annually has to pay the income tax. There are two kinds of the capital gain taxes are there. One is short term capital gain tax that is 15 percent is income tax and long term capital gain tax is 10 percent is say investor when he gets the profit within one year in the stock market he has to pay the 15 percent is that tax is known as a stock short term capital gain tax and the investor gets the profit in the stock market more than the one year in the more than the one year he has to pay the 10 percentage that is known as the long term capital gain tax then come to the cryptocurrency what is a cryptocurrency so when the currency has a three characters one is in the form of the in the form of the electro um, electronics and without physical shape when it is not controlled by any organization that is known as the cryptocurrency the cryptocurrency is considered as the bad currency or unofficial currency. So to prevent the investment in the cryptocurrency, the government of India so means levied the 30 percent is income tax on the cryptocurrency. Because some people make the investment in the, in the cryptocurrency, they are getting huge losses. So that's why Indian government decided levying the, that is a um, cryptocurrency tax means you no know, income tax on the cryptocurrency directly they are leaving the 30 percentage general income tax you know when the salary the employee gets the income more than the 3 lakhs then only has to pay the tax that basic uh, uh, income tax is 5 percentage but in the capital gains you know when the person uh, directly has to pay the 30 percentage only one slab 30 percentage then come to the other sources other sources means when a person gets the lottery ticket, when the person gets the, that means, you know, Kaun Bane Karadupati has to pay the income tax to the central government. Okay, these are the six aspects on which income tax is levied. Let us discuss about the income tax labs, income tax labs according to 2023-24 budget estimation. To understand 2023-24 budget estimation, we need some explanation about the, the previous year, that is 2022-23 budget estimation also. So according to the last year, you know, so how many slabs are there? There are six slabs are there. 
if any person gets the income more than the 200 of lakh he has to pay the income tax see a person who gets income more than the 200 of lakh to 5 lakhs 5 percentage a person who gets income uh, 5 to 7 and of 10 percentage if any person get the income 7 and of to the 10 lakhs he has to pay the 15 percentage if any person who gets the income uh, between the 10 to 12 and of he has to pay the 20 percentage a person who gets income between the 12 and of to the 15 he has to pay the 25 percentage above the 50 lakhs you know he has to pay the 30 percentage so totally there are six slabs are there there are six slabs are there in the previous year and uh, when the income two and a half every two and a half lakh uh, so there is a slash change of this slab change of uh, slab and come to the third one rebate rebate is a uh, five lakhs rebate is a uh, five lakhs then come to the 23 24 budget estimation the present latest uh, uh, slabs of the income tax if any person gets the income more than the three lakhs then only has to pay the income tax to the central government see how many slabs are there there are five slabs are there three to six uh, lakhs five percentage six to nine uh, 10 percentage 9 to 12 percent 9 to 12 lakhs 15 percentage 12 to 15 20 percentage above the above the 15 lakhs 30 percentage here so totally how many slabs are there there are five slabs are there five slabs and the missed slab is 25 percentage in the last year budget we have the 25 percentage income tax slab is there whereas this present budget estimation 25 percent is not available directly 20 to the 30 percentage then come to the every three lakhs there is a change of change of slab only last year last year every two and a half year this year every three lakh and and rebate is increased to the five to seven lakhs rebate means exemption so if a person has the more than the three lakhs he has to pay the income tax to the government but when a person gets it seven lakhs means he can get the exemption is there so exemption means you know a person who has the uh, house loan a person who has insurance a person who has the children's education they have the exemption up to seven lakhs exemption nothing but only the rebate so how much rebate is there last year five lakhs at present increased to the seven lakhs okay so these are the slabs are there according to 23 24 budget estimation and uh, if you Besides uh, income tax, you know, there are two kinds of the taxes are there. One is uh, CES, uh, second one is uh, that is a surcharge or surtax. What is a CES? The CES is additional tax which is levied on the tax by the central government for the specific purpose, specific purpose only. See, for example, so income from the CES is used for the development of education and health of the poor people. Okay, so the CES is levied on the income, on the tax by the central government for the specific purpose. Then come to the surcharge. Surcharge is a tax which is levied above the 50 lakhs income. If any person gets the income more than the 50 lakhs, then he has to pay the surcharge of the surtax. So CES is a composite to the, all the kind of the income tax payers. So um, CES is a 4 percentage, surtax is a 10 percentage is there, 15 percentage is there and 25 percentage is there. So minimum 10 percentage is a uh, surcharge, the maximum is 25 percentage whereas CES is a 4 percentage. See, I give the one example regarding the income tax. A person gets the 30 lakhs annual income. How we pay the income tax to the central government? Uh, so this example give the explanation. See, a person has the 30 lakhs annual income. So how we can pay the tax to the government? How much amount should be paid to the government? Uh, uh, so first, uh, three to six lakhs. He has to pay the. He has to maintain the five slabs because uh, he has the 30 lakhs. So three to six lakhs. 
five percentage already crossed the three lakhs so he has to pay the income tax three to six lakhs five percentage sir so how much five percentage for the there? three to six lakhs means fifty thousand fifteen thousand rupees and the second slab is there six to nine lakhs ten percentage sir thirty percent thirty thousand he has to pay and uh, 9 to 12 lakhs 15 percentage uh, for the uh, 9 to 12 lakhs 15 percent of 45,000 and uh, 12 to 15 so 20 percentage uh, so how much he has to pay means uh, 60,000 rupees uh, and 15 to 30 lakhs uh, so about the 30 lakhs you know 30 percent income tax uh, total amount amount is there 15 lakhs for the 15 lakhs amount is uh, 4 lakhs 50,000 rupees the total amount of so because if this person has to get the if this person has the 30 lakhs annual income in the five under the five slabs he has to pay the totally six lakhs six lakhs and for the six lakhs again he has to pay the cess okay so for the cess on the six lakhs so cess is four percent is the finally for the four percent for the six lakhs he has to pay the twenty four thousand the principal income tax income tax income tax is six lakhs six lakhs and cess is that is twenty four thousand the finally six lakhs twenty four thousand should be paid to the government by the income tax payer okay so he should maintain these five slabs and he has to pay the four percent assessed to the central government so the income which is gained from the cess should be used for the education and health of the poor people in the society it should not be income from the cess should not be used by the government for a, for any other purpose so this tax is introduced for a specific purpose only then uh, surtax is there what is a surtax so you come to the surtax so surtax is levied surtax is a levied on above the 50 lakhs income if a person gets the uh, more than the 50 lakhs he is uh, come under the surtax see for example <coughs> 50 lakh to the 50 lakh to the 1 crore he has to pay the 10 percent is and 1 crore to the 2 crores uh, he has to pay 15 percent is and uh, above the 2 crores he has to pay the 25 percent is and uh, the minimum is uh, 5 percent is low high is uh, 25 percent is high is uh, 25 percent is whatever the last year uh, Sir tax. This is according to the 2023-24 budget estimation. And whereas 2022-23 budget estimation, what are the sir tax? See, 50 lakh to the 50 lakh to the one crore is 10 percent is, and one crore to the two crores that is 15 percent is, and two to five crores that is 25 percent is. Above the five crores, uh, above the five crores, so that is a uh, thirty-seven percentage. Thirty-seven percentage. So anyway, the surtax is uh, reduced from the thirty. 7 to the 37 to the 25 percentage in the present budget estimation. So the maximum income tax, maximum income tax including the cess and the sar tax uh, is uh, 39 percentage, 42.74 to the 39 percentage. The maximum income tax including the cess and the surcharge is uh, 39 percentage. Early 42.74 percentage at present uh, it is reduced to the 39 percentage in India according to the 23-24 budget estimation. Okay, the income which is gained from the surtax can be used by the government for the defense or government uh, government programs for any purpose. So, but the income from the cess should be used for the education health of the poor people only.
and income tax is a, is a direct tax it is a progressive tax and is the third largest tax after the gst and the corporation income tax what is the descending order of the taxes in india first one is gst the second one is corporation income tax third one is income tax third one is income tax so here you know some taxes are there which are levied by the central government collected by the central government and taken by the central government we have the classification of the taxes according to the distribution according to the levying so means you know classification of the taxes so classification classification of taxes taxes based on now levy collect and distribution and distribution so based on the levy based on the levy and the distribution we have the six types of the tax taxes are there in india so one is one this is a levy and levy collection collect collection distribution 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 and example example for this so based on the levy who levies based on the collection who collects the taxes based on the distribution to whom the tax is distribution distribution we have the types of the class taxes are there so on number one central government central government and who levies the tax central government levies the tax and the central government collects the tax who collects the tax central government collects the tax who distribute the tax that is uh, means you know consumption distribution or the consumption distribution or the consumption distribution or the consumption so who consumed the tax means uh, central government central government consumes the tax so example are there what are the example corporation income tax corporation income tax corporation income tax and next to custom duty custom duty wealth tax cess surcharge so the income from the corporation so any kind of the taxes you know corporation can tax custom duty wealth tax uh, cess surcharge surcharges are levied by the central government collected by central government consumed by the central government okay na then come to the second one the taxes levied by the central government collected by the central government and consumed by the central consumed by the consumed means you no know, distribution between the center and the state center and the state these taxes are consumed by the central government only but uh, these uh, these taxes are distributed between the center and the state that is uh, income tax income tax central excise duty central excise duty and uh, service tax and uh, service tax so these taxes are uh, levied by the central government collected by the central government distributed between the center and the state see the finance commission is there according to the 280 article so what is the duty of the finance commission the finance commission recommends a distribution of the taxes between the center and the state for example take the 15th finance commission uh, nanda kishore singh the 15th finance commission chairman he recommended 41 percentage to the states 1 percentage to the jammu and kashmir totally 42 percent should be spent the remaining should be taken by the central government so like that so according to the 15th finance commission 41 should be given to the states 1 percent should be given to the jammu and kashmir then third one so the tax levied by the central government 
collected by the central government collected by the central government and given to the particular state particular state that is estate duty estate estate duty estate duty see what is the estate duty the tax levied on the property distribution among the legal here suppose a person dies and he has 100 acres land is there 100 acres land is registered with their family members maybe wife uh, or the children so the legal heirs go for the registration so the tax is levied by the central government uh, and collected by the central government given to the particular state regarding the estate duty only now it is abolished now it is not existing at present now it is not existing at present and the fourth one the tax levied by the central government collected by the central government and uh, distributed the among the among the states see this is among the states we have the 28 states are there and uh, the income which you gain from these kind of the taxes are given to the particular among the states only that is the central sale tax that is a central sale tax and a tax on stock market tax on equities and commodities equities and the commodities <laughs> Because the central sale tax is levied by the central government, collected by the central government, and distributed between the and uh, among the states only. For example, Karnataka government is Karnataka state is there. A product is produced in the Karnataka government, and that product is uh, transported to other states and sold in other states. So here, the central government identify this uh, uh, this kind of the sale. Central government levies the central sale tax. Okay, then come to the other one remaining two are there so the levy collection consumption of the distribution consumption are the distribution the types of the taxes types of taxes types of the taxes this is the fifth one collected by the central government sorry levied by the central government collected by the state government state government and uh, consumed by the state government what are the taxes excise duty excise duty on uh, toilet items toilet manufacturing industries manufacturing industries manufacturing industries because uh, when you, the toilet has the uh, sink, shower, and uh, pipes, and uh, these taps are there. So these uh, are prepared, these are produced by the, some companies. The central government levy the tax on this toilet uh, manufacturing industry, and the state government collects, state government consumes only. So what are the taxes which is levied by the central uh, collected by the state, consumed by the state means so that is only the excise duty, central excise duty, better to central excise duty on the toilet manufacturing industries. So then come to the last one that is the sixth one. What is the sixth one? So the tax collected by the state government, state government uh, and uh, again uh, levied by the state government, uh, collected by the state government. Uh, and consumed consumed by the state government what are the taxes generally sale tax of course it is a part of the gst state excise duty state excise duty state excise duty and stamps and registration tax stamps and registration stamps and registration sale tax state excise duty stamps and registration and road tax road tax tax on minerals tax on minerals 
So, any the tax which are levied by the state government, uh, previous class I discussed the number of the tax. What are the tax which are levied by the state government, collected by the state government, consumed by the state government means number one sale tax, second one state excise duty, third one stamps and registration, and fourth one road tax, the next one is the tax on the minerals. So, anyway, of course, uh, the sale tax is a part of the GST. Uh, okay, uh, so generally we have the See here, you know, we have the three kinds of the excise duties. Excise duties. We have the three kinds of excise duties are there. One is uh, one is uh, that is a central excise duty. Central excise duty. And the second one is uh, another central excise duty. Another central excise duty, and the third one is state excise duty. State excise duty. State excise duty. See the central excise duty means in a company or the factory when they produce the goods, you know, central government levies the uh, central excise duty. Central excise duty. Now it is a part of the GST. Now it is a part of the GST. And the central excise duty, another kind of central excise duty is there. This is a, uh, the tax which is levied by the central government, collected by the state government, consumed by the state government. So this is the tax on uh, tax on toilet items, toilet uh, items manufacturing industries, uh, manufacturing industries. Uh, okay. So then come to the state excise. The tax which is levied by the state government on the manufacturing of the alcohol, alcohol, alcohol manufacturing industries, manufacturing industry. Okay, so like that, you know, but uh, this is levied by the central government, central government, state government. Like that, we have the classification of the taxes based on the living, imposition, collection, or the consumption. Okay, then come to the another one. Mm -hmm.